Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It's Rocket here, and welcome to the Wolf Den. So, I know it's been a few days since we've did anything with the Steam Deck outside of our gameplay videos. We did a reshell of a Game Boy SP I won on whatnot. And today, I think we are going to get hop right back into that PS1 emulation on the Steam Deck. So let's do a tutorial on that. So let's get into it. Alright guys, so the first thing we need to do to hop into this tutorial today is you need to stick your deck in desktop mode. And if you don't know already, you will hold the steam button down. And once you hold your Steam button down, you go to your power settings. And once you're in your power settings, you go to switch to desktop mode. And then if you did it correctly, you should be at the screen I'm at right now. So right now I am in desktop mode on my Steam Deck. Alright, so we're going to go here into our store. We're going to download Duck Station. That's the PS1 emulator we're going to be using today. It is my favorite and my go to of choice so we'll click applications games emulators and if you scroll down it'll be the one that's got a duck shape to it here it is right here this is our duck station so you guys are going to do a quick install of that I already have it installed myself Once the game's installed, you can go here, go to your games, and I recommend Duck Station GUI, or GUI, however you like to say it. It has a more stable frame rate, and it's less prone to crashing. So we'll open her up. And then the next thing you're going to see here, I do have to let you guys know right away, there is no BIOS on this thing when it's out of the box. So, in order to get our BIOS, all you have to do is go into Google. Oh. Alright guys, once we're on Google, we're going to type in the browser bar, scph1001.bin. And that first pile on the top there is the one you're going to select. Let's do that now. Click download, it's very small. Well, there you have that. Now, when we're in Duck Station, it should auto set that BIOS. Do not unzip it. Because I tried this before and I could not figure out why in the hell I couldn't, it wasn't finding my BIOS. And it was just because it was sitting here like this. It's not in a folder. But once you download it and it works, here's what we'll do we'll go to settings. And then you go over to this bar here, I believe. Yes. You click the bio directory for your state, country, whatever. So it sensed our SCPH1001 bin. And if it did not for you, all you have to do is click on it and it'll bring up your file directory. And it should just search for it right then and find it for you. All right. Well. Once that's set up, let's go over to our controller. Controller type is a digital controller. So when you want to set your buttons, it's kind of self-explanatory. Just like the GameCube Wii video we did not too long ago. Alright, so we're going to do up. Click your up button. Down button. Left button. Right button. Select button. Start button. Then we'll do triangle, cross or X, our circle. And then we're going to do square, L1, L2, R1, R2. 
And it looks like it's all set up there. Very nice, very nice. Once you have that all set up, we'll go home. And then this is where, if you have your games downloaded, if not, you'll have to find a ROM site for yourself. I do recommend that you own all of the games that you download. I do not endorse any piracy, ladies and gentlemen. It's just for education. Alright, so let's open the game list I have here. Alright, I have Persona installed. So I'm going to click my game. And it's going to boot up. It's full screen. It appears we are getting our gameplay in here. Really, really happy that this booted right up. This is Persona 2, in case you didn't see it before. Uh, very expensive game these days, guys. Very expensive. I am so glad that I got the copy that I got whenever I was a child. Not that this is a game for children, of course, but this is, I think, what really kind of my RPG love. Oh, this looks good. This looks good. Press any button. And as you can see, it's auto-saving already for us, which is quite nice. There we go, guys. I, I think this is a good place to stop today. We have our game video playing. The cutscenes are usually pretty long in the beginning of these games. But, uh, Please. Thank you guys so much for checking the channel out. If you guys have any questions about how I went about doing anything, or if you guys are like, need some help troubleshooting, just let me know. Shoot a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.